This is Big Bertha. We're going to send it up on a B64 with a 12 inch or 31 centimeter uh, parachute. We're hoping for 500 feet. We're also going to send a passenger up. Okay, we're going to put Parachute Panda in. Good trip, little Parachute Panda. Now we're going to set him up for a launch. Radio silence, please. Okay, in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Nice shoot. We should see two. There goes Parachute Panda. There goes the rocket. Both are coming down. Bunch of wadding as well. Just about perfect. It's going to land right back, almost right on the pad. Nice shot. <laughs> nice shot. The Parachute Panda... But wait, there's more. We've got some great drone footage as well. In this one, the rocket will stay in frame almost the entire flight, heading off the top of the screen just for a brief instance and then rejoining here with the parachute already deployed and gliding gently down for a pretty spectacular view as we've seen from one of the ground shots. And a very excited a little girl will be recovering it here just in a second. And from this drone view, slightly different angle, also a nice shot. And once the operator locks down, we can see the rocket rejoin from the top of the frame and head back down to our launch site. There is another great viewpoint as well coming up uh, toward the end of the video. You can fast forward if you don't feel like listening to me talk about how we built the rocket. But thanks for listening. Big Bertha. It's a great kit, and uh, after putting it together, I can certainly see why. It goes together super simple. Um... Standard engine mounts. I did decide to use a Kevlar uh, cord for my shock uh, mount. So in this case, you'll see I had to cut an extra uh, notch in the engine mount and attach the Kevlar cord directly to the uh, engine mount itself. Usual sanding of the fins, nicely cut balsa uh, with a laser cutter. Um, here, the typical fin alignment guide. I won't be using the traditional Estes three-fold mount. Um, the engine going in, running the cord back through the engine mount is important. Otherwise, you're going to get it stuck up in there somehow. But it uh, goes in fairly simple. Uh, here, it's all drying with the uh, Kevlar cord hanging out the back because once we tie the uh, elastic shock cord to it, we'll feed that back up through the rocket here so it's just short of the end. That way, the sharper Kevlar doesn't zipper the, uh, the body of the rocket. The uh, fins all... Uh, sand it up. I will make a slight mistake with those, but uh, gluing on typically, let it dry. Here's a launch lug. I like to use a standoff so that the launch lug doesn't drag against the body of the rocket, and we'll see that come up later. But all in all, this kit goes really well together, just pretty much straight out of the box. Here's the hero shot coming up, and just a great little model kit.